gentlemen, it's always fun to have some of these guys that are behind the scenes that are innovators that come up with something for the sport to make it easier for the drivers, uh, easier for the crews. And right now, it's I guess you guess it's, it's something easier for the TV crew. Uh, I got Mark Peterson up here, who's behind the scenes of. I guess you're gonna. I'll call you the mad scientist of the mud muncher. Uh, now you've come up with something not only for the helmets, but now for the cameras. Exactly. We took the uh, same technology that's been since you know so successful on the helmets. We integrated the uh, same features into this camera. And what we have here is a hundred foot roll of film, a clear film that's going to roll in front of a GoPro camera. Um, it's all done by program. I can set up sequences. The first couple, you know, minutes of the race, I can. So you can see the. There's the film. film right here. Yeah. That's the roll of film. GoPro. When, and then the, the camera here. Yeah. And yeah. then it actually goes across the front. Correct. And that's where the, the dirty film goes. Yeah. So it rolls the dirty film up on here. But again, we have to tell it what to do because we we're not in control of it as far as the light source. So mm -hmm. we just time it out and say every five seconds, pull it. You know, pull the tape. We've got some awesome footage off this last week at Elk River with CJ chasing down his mentor. Uh -huh. It was awesome footage. Stuff, you know, something that nobody's ever seen in off-road racing before. So now, something like this, it's, so that's where, there's the camera screen right here. So this is actually how it gets mounted, either yep. off the back bumper or the yep. front. Well, it's going to sit in CJ's car right off Inside. the center, off the center pipe in the car. So it's actually facing slightly at, age, or at CJ's hands and then out the windshield. Okay. So that's where it was always a problem. Um, you couldn't put it forward facing because within seconds there's so much mud on there that you, you can't see it. So the neat thing is that the people at home can see what the driver sees, and you can see when that dirt gets shoveled through the windshield. Mm -hmm. Bucket loads at Bucket a time. Loads yeah, at a time. Exactly. You can see the rocks come. If you look at the front of this thing, this is all the combat wounds <laughs> that happen. All the, all the, oh yeah, you can feel where all the rocks, yeah. everything have hit. There's just all kinds of divots and dents and stuff like that. Now, what do you think the life expectancy after a race like this is of just this canister? That that unit is our prototype unit, and it's got the, this is the second season on it, and uh, we have a new revision to this. There's guys already using it in the field. Uh, Mark Kwame has one. Uh, um, Adrian Chenny has one. So there's big teams that are using it. The Booth Racing team has one, and uh, I think it's just a, a good way to show your sponsors what's going on in the track. It gives them a feeling what happens inside the truck. And the thing is too that I'm just noticing like right, right now. There's virtually no weight to it. It's probably, what, maybe two pounds total? It, it has to be. When you walk up to a, a big team like uh, Greaves, the first thing <laughs> they do is grab it and say, yeah, I guess we'll let it in the truck. <laughs> They're not going to let it in there if it weighs 10 pounds. Well, Mark, I want to thank you so much for coming up here and showing this. And uh, where can the fans go if they want to adapt this theory or this idea to something for them at home? Where can they go? They can go to uh, mudmuncher.net. And again, this the same system is what we're using on security cameras inside of factories, same technology. And, and there, I'm sure you're going to be getting in the government markets as well with some of the I'm, special services? I'm hoping. <laughs> well, again, thank you so much. It's, uh, I mean, this is really a neat little piece of machinery, and the thing is, make sure to go to, uh, you know, watch us on Fox Sports too, because that thing's going to be utilized in a few trucks on our TV shows. So. I see, I've seen some of the footage from Elk River that um, is going to be you know, aired soon, and it's awesome. A lot of forward-facing footage that you don't see. Well, thank you again, Mark Peterson, Mud Muncher. You guys are doing one hell of a job. Thank you so much. No, thanks, Scott. All right.